you make us very proud. I've seen your passion, not just in Uma Bay, but at the national level. In Parliament, Brother Jim will remember when things are pretty tough in Parliament, and this sister dared everybody by taking a bottle of water and pouring it. That is passion. That is commitment. And quite frankly, Gladys, that's why we came. Because you see, you have now uh, translocated the passion from National Assembly to the ground in Homa Bay, and you are serving with you, your people with such distinction and dedication that we owe it to you to give you a big clap. I think we do need, if you are somewhere in America, you would give this governor a standing ovation. But we are, I think we are, in our country, we are so obsessed with tension <laughs> that you feel tension wherever you sit. But Gladys, may God continue to guide you. And may you continue with that. You're also an apologetic. When we met our Zemeo governors at a retreat, we made it clear to them, I think it was, brother, if you remember, uh, somewhere like, uh, like Rift Valley Great Lodge, and we told them they were free to work with the national government. But they must remember that devolution is important. And devolution will um, fall or stand according to how they interpret it and how they relate to the national government. We never told them not to work with the national government. Glad is I've seen you going to State House, but you're unapolog unapologetic about your commitment to your coalition, and you have not sold us out. You haven't sold us out. So we are here to pay tribute to you and to encourage you. I'm not even going to say, as others have said, that you are a candidate for second term. Uh, let the facts speak for themselves. Work hard. There's a lot to be done. And Homer Bay, the home of an amazing heritage. Can I mention once as minister for uh, tourism and information, Brother Tinga, and I came and I've never seen such beauty like I saw. If you were to uh, look at the birds that fly between Rusinga Island and Mfangano at about sunset, sunset, you know, Azungu and Apenda Imaneno Zana Gladys, when there was a sunset in, in Oma Bay, <laughs> and the bird islands, the birds. I call them the bad islands, our heritage. And I, of course, stormy taking the, the, the boat between Rusing Island and Fangano, um, you have sometimes to look at the timings. But isn't, isn't it in Rusing Island that one of the most illustrious sons of this country, the late Tom Joseph Boyer, is actually laid to rest? And therefore, as we celebrate the reality of Tomboya University, I want to challenge you, Governor, along with the administration, Vice Chancellor of this university, I know there's a mausoleum of the late Tom Joseph Boya in Rusinga Island, but do it better. Let it be part of the tourist attraction. Men who stood at the time, at the time when this country needed it and needed them, and organized, for example, the famous airlift, airlift of Kenyans to go and capacity build in the United States. That was Tom Boyer. Ladies and gentlemen, devolution must not only be seen to succeed, but we have no option but to deepen it and make it successful. It will be a tribute to our brother, Raila Odinga, who's all the time fought for it, and I think we need also to give him here a big clap because this is why the father of devolution in our country. And he once shared me a story, shared with me a story of how far across the world he went to look at the best practices on how to, to, to actually do devolution in Kenya. But you know, governors, you have work to do. You have
have also to congratulate um, the National Dialogue team of Azimio because nobody has remembered. And I want to thank my brother Kaluma and the team. I, I mentioned because you are the host MP here. Uh, the parliament actually quickly passed the National Dialogue Committee report. And under its terms, we managed to push the Kenya Kwanzaa team to accept, at least to be put it in writing, that the shareable revenue to the county government will now move from 15 to 20 percent. It is now in writing officially. Gladys Wanga getting an extra 5 percent is something. And even if they want to go up, that's okay. If they go lower, they know they can't go below 15 percent. Therefore, our team, uh, ably assisted by my brother Wandai, who I'm sure is in parliament prosecuting these matters, did something. And I would think we need to really push it harder. Push it so hard that there will be no doubt in our mind that devolution must succeed. When you talk of 5,000, 7,000 bed capacity, people think it is, you know, several years ago nobody cared. And that's all the money went to Sakaja's county and uh, with which Sakaja pays people's bills <laughs> after they eat uh, at, at the restaurants. They actually pay for themselves, but I think Sakaja almost said, give it, put it on my account. Um, eh. So now, before I invite our brother, I just want to say very boldly here in Oma Bay that a brother will be making a phone, formal application to become the next chairperson of the African Union Commission. It's of a successor to what used to be Organization of African Unity. The closest time our region, our leadership of that continental body was during the times of uh, uh, the Prime Minister then of Tanzania, Salim Ahmed. And uh, when his candidature was proposed that time, you may not know, this is history, to become the UN Secretary General, the Americans vetoed his candidature. Malimo Nyerere then said, well, they will still have to deal with our son from the point of view of the Secretary General of the Organization of African Unity. That's how Dr. Hamid Salim became the Secretary General of the OAU. Now, under the Constitutive Act, it's a bigger and an enhanced body of African leadership. And I know a brother going to that position. He did several things. First of all, he's a Pan-Africanist, and we know him. He has worked for transformation, for deepening of our democratic gains. And I had our brother Jim, and I wish Jim you could come out as clearly as you always do, that there is an attempt at clawback of the on devolution. And that's, I can tell you, we will not allow us as a meal. Kenyans must know for sure from here that what you are saying is there's no vacuum, absolutely no vacuum. In fact, we have up to April for Raila Molo Dinga to submit his documents. But of course, before then, he has to traverse the continent to look for votes. And this I'm sure he will do when he was the African High Representative for Infrastructure. He did a lot of that. So the name and the name recognition is, I think, is his biggest asset. And I know the East African region will give him support because he needs this. It is now, after so many years since Dr. Hamid Salim, it is the turn of East Africa. And I think our negotiating teams and leaders in Addis Ababa must make it very clear to the rest of the continent because this is not a given. Our brothers to fight for it. And we all have to fight for it. Let us not assume that he's just getting it because there could be other candidates. But we believe as a region, we have the best candidate. We issue that statement as Azimio before he left for Germany and we said that we will stand by him. And we said his candidature is bipartisan. Let nobody say he's a Kenya Kwanzaa candidate because that is not true. 
and let nobody also say is an Azmio candidate because that is equally not true. Raila Odinga now rises above our partisan politics when it comes to negotiating and, and defending national interest. Therefore, I congratulate President William Ruto. I saw somebody brother on a tweet send, sending something uh, after the, we know photos these days speak. Have you ever seen speaking photographs? Simba Rati saw one. <laughs> I asked my brother, how many cows did Museveni give you? <laughs> Those and call it, and call it at cattle. And, and he told me he promised 50. Next time I will accompany you, perchance I can get two, but I don't know whether they can survive in Ukambani. <laughs> the important thing is pictures speak. And we want to ask Kenyans to relax about this matter. I'm calling you to relax about it, stop speculation, and some of it are necessary. You know, we have even, they have said, uh, a sibling rivalry can actually kill. We have seen conversation, very unhealthy conversation, in our local media. Some of it attributed to our own people within a Zemiro coalition, going for each other's, other's juggler. Others who have never associated with us, <laughs> my brother, and we know them, never associated with that, they are now in the forefront trying to see if by chance they can create a rift within Azumio. We are telling them that will not happen by God's grace. We are going to stand with our brother and I know, I think I know his heart because we spend a lot of time together. And you people of Oma Bay, people of South Nyanza, people of Nyanza, including Kishi people, have no fear that we are in this. I cannot see how a brother can drop a baton when it comes to safeguarding the interests, particularly the democratic credentials that are part of his history and that would support dictatorship anywhere in Africa, including his own country. So if that is a Raila Odinga, I know I have no fear. I hope I'm convincing you that there's need, absolutely no need for fear. And if you sometimes feel over overcome and overwhelmed in whichever form, and you're missing Baba, <laughs> uh, if you're missing Baba, my, my friend Paranya, there's Uncle Steve O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we should not miss each other. And if there's nothing in Raila Odinga to miss, I can tell you that. Knowing him, he'll be traversing the continent like a colossus. But please remember the things that he has talked about, which he cannot now perhaps speak about because he needs uh, William Ruto's vote. <laughs> so he cannot now say, Sakawa Shuka Chini. <laughs> we will say that on his behalf. <laughs> My brother, I'll give you, I'll give you a, a little discussion we had with Governor Oeria, <laughs> uh, David was not with us, and, and also um, Eugene Wamalwa, and we were asking ourselves, what are we going to say in Homa Bay on this matter? So um, it was Steve Mule who brought a very funny uh, situation. He said, and after that I'm going to invite him. He said, now you know this thing about Sakaya and the tree. <laughs> Uh, and these are high taxes about which Governor Orengo has spoken. These are these levies which are convoluting the situation even at, at the level of devolution. They are actually all from the national government. All those levies. And they are not to be found locally. So they are all taxes including the infamous and I say it unapologetically and boldly the infamous housing tax which parliament passed, all right? I say my brother now cannot talk that language. We will talk it. Now the trouble is if uh, the Muti Kikatwa, and then uh, to find our brother is on the same branch, Nazakayo. Tutakata Muti Amapana. We don't want our brother to come down. That is a joke. That's what I'm telling you, relax.